will show you how you can create an S3 bucket and upload your static code files on the internet so that everyone to whom you want your code or your UI basically wants to you want to get review for their opinion about the code uh, your structure. Uh, this is the way you can do it on AWS. Uh, it's a very sim simple way to do it. Uh, you will find a lot of documentation over the internet as well. But I find uh, in this particular in this particular video, I will explain you all the relevant details which you require in order to upload the files. So first thing first, first of course, uh, you have to log into your AWS account. You have to log in with the user who has the permission to create S3 bucket and the CloudFront uh, distribution. So first, we will go to the S3 and try to create an S3 bucket. So let's let it load. I have some internet problem today. So that's taking some time to load. So as you see, I don't have any buckets right now. I'm just going to create a bucket and I'm just going to name this bucket as S3. So that is that is the content. Content. This token needs to be unique. I'm not sure if any name. So I think we can upload this name. And I'm, I will go and create this bucket in this system because that's, that's the public function. Uh, I want this bucket to be public, but right now I'll just block all public access so that you can enable it. And I mean, I'll show you how you can enable that. For the encryption, uh, we can work with the standard encryption, but as now it doesn't work. Well. But this is a bucket anyway. We are going to create after the tutorial. So yeah, we can just create bucket. Okay. okay, so. I'm just going to come here. So, this is the icon. Oh, what the heck is now? Okay, with the same name of the exist. So, I was thinking about that. So, let's add test here. Okay, so, okay now. Yes, it's allowing us to create the bucket with that name. That's fine. So, as we see, we have our bucket here placed. Uh, now the other thing what, what I want, I want to upload my content here. So I have the source file which I have added in the description. So you can either pop the my repo on GitHub or you can if you have the whole files like simple statement, CSH, JavaScript, and so forth, uh, then you can also upload that here. I will recommend you upload in a zip file because that will take less time to go upload. So I have this to start a website here. I'm just going to put that. So we can do the extraction here as well. So for the additional upload, I can uh, standard is okay. And stores glass in the wrong. I think it's very important though. And I think that's good. So continue to. To the book, it be the book, and after the time, you can just move eyes like blocking us to do all the changes. Things, yeah. So, let the files to be uploaded. Take other things so we can get the extract option uh, till the time is coming on. Uh, so let it keep us in. Yeah, so it's uploaded successfully now. That's okay. And as we see in the configuration, uh, we we'll write and we need to do. Oh, this may even so confusing. <clears throat> okay, so okay, here yeah, it is. So I can see in the properties. And if I try to, oh, I can do the right over here. Okay, let me just make the public. But I will show you under the permissions tab. And from the permission tab, you can disable the check box. Basically, enable the public access. And you can do save changes. You can just confirm it. Okay. So now the bucket is public. I think to see the tag. As public, 
okay. so if we approved source code for us one more time with index and all other things uh, so here is my repo let me can upload all this together yes now see I'm going to upload like this so I'm going to Okay, so I think the best way to do this is what you can do. So I think there's no option we can extract uh, our zip file. So I think I'm just going to upload, I'm just going to create another HTML file with a simple text and all that. And I'm just going to delete this. You can use this as a zipper. I'm going to share my GitHub link for this particular repo uh, in the description so that you can use this to upload the code parts. But you know, right now, because in order to delete this, we can just copy from here and say delete objects, we delete the file now. In order to upload, and again, go for our code. Which is like <clears throat> yeah, so I have an index dot like test HTML file, which is I'm just going to rename that as which test to index dot HTML. Next, yeah. I'm just going to put that one here. Yeah, then it's done. Go. Yeah, that's the file. Okay. So this is the first part of the task. The second task, second part of the tool will be for the cloud. So you just have to search CFT, uh, CF, cloud front. So under the cloud front, you have to create load. Yes, so once you are on this page, you have to click on create distribution. Right now, we'll go with the web, but RTMP distribution is good if you are like remotely, you are showing someone like remotely, you are not live broadcasting or you know, some media files you are running uh, from a physical set up from like any endpoint or PC instance or the load balance or you TPS. We can directly live stream that, but in our case, we just go with a simple web. Origin endpoint, you can queue the bucket. So, as you see, just like when you click on here, it will give the all the origin domain names which are available into the AWS in your Flipkart account. So, I will just go and select this one for the origin path. I will just go for the root uh, forward slash, and which is not required. You see, it's not taking any more because like all, all the traffic go to the root domain. And uh, say this uh, viewer protocol comes here, it's good. Or well, you can like the direct stick to stream so that or uh, whenever the traffic comes on its different point of your top and distribution, it should go to the secure website. In our case, it's not required. I want my traffic to be receiving both my HTTP and HTTPS protocol, so that's fine. And just keep it as it is. Most of the default configuration is what we needed. You see, it is in progress right now. In progress, so in time, it comes this. Uh, we should so we get this particular domain name here, or just powerful code here. So, as you can see, the deployment is finished on the cloud. Front. So, here's the URL which we got. So, if you just go over on this particular URL, you will see, you will see that I get the external error. That is because in our S3 bucket, this particular this particular file, or this particular or the root part file we are requesting is not public. Right? So if I go over this way, it's giving the same. So that means our file is not public. So for that, like what I have to go, I have to search an object, go to the action, 
and I can just link it probably to that graph. Right now, it is public. So, whenever any of the user is sitting on this particular website, he can see index.html file. But why it's not working on this one? It's not working for the bucket because bucket is not public. So, inside the bucket, object is public. The bucket can, objects can be public, but bucket is not public itself. So, I have to make bucket itself a public bucket. To do, do that, that, do that, you have to go to on the formation or public access. See it changes and it should happen. So now we can your static website hosting never so this was the part which was missing and then so I can just do index for payment no uh, we don't have any error files right now the rest in here we can just save it like this then we have a lot of this oops then you can play and the file is not there so you should show the file with the code So now, if I go, I go on the particular website, now I So I think we just have to now the other thing I the other thing I can do is this So I've just added this bucket policy. So yeah, as you guys can see, I use the bug policy generator to generate this particular policy. You can, you can also change something like that. You just have to select the policy type that you want, allow or deny, and principle. In my case, I wanted to allow for everything, so I just select it. And the resources. Start this. In this way, I think our bucket will be public. I see that. So, she might have entered. I see there is no default root object in my CloudFront, so you can just make that because if there is no root object, so the child will try to be checked, right? So it's public right now. As you can see, the bucket is finally public. So now if you go to our website, uh, so because I have it, so it's going to redeploy the website code again one more time. The cloud fund is to be on the edge location going to deploy. So I'm going to stop the recording till the time it finishes. So as you guys can see now, finally our deployment is completed. You see the status deployed. Let's go to the domain name. Let's see whether the content is yes. Now as you can see the our index.html is getting loaded properly, even on our root path. So if you go to index.html, so we can see the content and without index.html, so 
you can see the same page. So let's can also do that, something like that. If you have any questions, you can uh, comment me, comment or let me know if you want any other video, tutorial if you want to know. For the site, for the website code, if you don't have any other, if you don't have, if you don't have the code, sorry for, sorry for the buffer, if you don't have the code, you can use my uh, static code. I'm going to put that under the description. You can go and download that and you can upload. Thanks for the watching.